Well, welcome to Marketing Monday, everybody. Thank you so much for being here. Um, I've got something cool for those of you who have a YouTube channel, because we figured that out this morning with Danny and Jody, how to make sure that your YouTube channel link doesn't go to an error page, and it was a weird one. So <laughs> if you haven't watched the Back to Business webcast yet, you can watch the replay. It's up in the top banner. And to move the banner to the side, there's two little arrows, one on the left and one on the right, and you can flip that banner whichever way you need it to go. So this is the main one. If you haven't checked out that webcast yet, you definitely can. You can also share it with other ambassadors too. If you find that there's someone else in the field who would benefit from that info, it's open to any and all ambassadors. Um, our Leaner for Life wellness webcast is now archived in the Wellness Center. So you can be sharing this. I shared this into my discovery group and I've had some pretty decent feedback from it. If you didn't watch this event, this, to, on my, in my personal opinion, was probably one of the best weight loss webcasts we've done in a long time because it really focused on practical strategies when, because we're living in a world that doesn't really cater to being healthy, right? There's, they don't make healthy isn't a convenient thing to be in this world. It's very convenient to be unhealthy. And I thought Dr. Daggy had some great tips on there to help you work with that um, so that you can be healthier in a not so healthy world. Um, plus there were some fun things in there, by the way, for any of you doing challenges in your groups, uh, gamifying your challenges. He had a cool one with a bowling card where you can track like water intake, or maybe you're cutting back on um, alcohol, that type of thing, and making a game out of it where everyone gets points. So just some cool things that you could use in your groups too. Um, and also thinking about people who maybe didn't make it, if you haven't reached out to the people who registered, this would be a good time to do that and just double check with them, were they able to reach it live? And if not, offer to send them the link in the replay. Of course, if they're on your email list, they will get the replay link, but that extra personal touch is always a nice thing to do, especially to those who registered. Um, we have our strategy sessions and I have a whole bunch of you booked for this, which is fantastic. So thank you to everyone who's already booked. Of course, for any of our classes, by the way, all of the links to enter each of our classes are right here on your dashboard. Obviously, we're here in Marketing Monday. And then you also have the spot to watch any of the archives for either or go into the YFP 101 basic training. Your weekly wellness email is ready. And this is going to be talking again about the event from last week. So recapping on those things, it's going to send out another link to go to the replay. And actually, it'll send out a link to go to the replay that we did in December because both of these events they work together. It was a two part series. So that's what's going out. You can view here if you would like. Um, and you can also do any of your editing if you want to add something to the email. And then this isn't the new PPT yet for Content Creators Club. That will be in tomorrow or Wednesday morning. So just keep that in mind. Um, if you do download it, it'll tell you what the date is, but it'll be up there soon. So once it's ready, this is where you will find it. And then, like I mentioned before, the Leaner for Life that we did last week is now archived in the Wellness Center. Um, so you can go ahead and be sharing that. And if you haven't watched it, I do recommend watching it. It was incredibly insightful and um, I found it very encouraging, especially for someone who maybe has struggled with the yo-yo. Um, very just practical strategies to get through it. Okay, so with that, now, now I got to go back up and see who has a YouTube channel. Uh, David has one. Okay, that's great. David, do you happen to be on your computer today or are you on mobile? Good afternoon, everybody. Hello. Um, hello. Um, yeah, the YouTube uh, for me was created by the elves um, mm -hmm. because I was consistently blogging and I'm still doing it, but maybe not as consistent. And then if you want, uh, to create a blog and say you do a program and I used to just take the YFP presentations uh, the ones of my choosing I like them all but I would take my favorites and I would just basically go live and read the slides I would interject points of uh, interest for me or if I could add a little something to a slide I would and then uh, if it went well I would just send it into the elves and they would kind of edit it, cut out a little bit at the beginning and to get it to be a blog in your blog. And, you know, I have blog with YFP. They have to move it into YouTube before they can put it into your blog. So 
you almost get two for one where you do the presentation and then that steps involved where they have to put it into YouTube. So you get a YouTube account, but I'm very interested in hearing more information as to how to utilize YouTube if that's where you're headed, Kristen. Well, kind of. It's more of um, how can we link it a little bit more into your social spaces so people can find it from your personal profile. However, we ran into an issue um, where when people put in their username or when we put in the username to the YouTube channel, it would go to an error page, a 404 error. So David, would you be okay sharing your screen and I'll just show everyone how to make sure that if you're gonna link a YouTube channel, there's a little trick to it. It's nice and simple, which is really cool. And, uh, and then you don't have to worry about an error page because when you get things going on YouTube, we don't need any extra extra challenges. Okay, and I'm gonna request remote control and we're just gonna walk through this. So one thing to keep in mind here, folks, is I'm gonna roll through this. This will be recorded. Um, I know not everyone here has a YouTube channel, but when you do get one, you will definitely want to know this. So thank you, David, for letting, for being my guinea pig today. <laughs> You're welcome. I appreciate it. All right, so let's go here. And this is pertaining, by the way, folks, to your personal profile, not the business page. Okay, so here is the basic, the basic channel. Now you'll see here that there is this username. Okay, so I'm gonna just copy that right off the bat because you will need that and you need it with the at symbol. Um, so I'm gonna show you first how it looks like when it's not working properly. And then I'm gonna show you how to fix it because it's, I think it's just an important thing to know. Um, so once you're on your personal profile, down here on the left, you're gonna come down to edit details, okay? You have a dormant channel, that's perfect. And then you're gonna open up a little modal here and you're gonna come down to update your information. So then once you're here, it's gonna be under your contact and basic info. And then under contact and basic win info, you're going to have this little websites and social links, okay? And you'll come over here to this edit button and you're going to add a social link and then you're going to click add a social link again so that this comes up now on the right hand side usually instagram is going to be the default one that'll show up right off the bat but if you click on this drop down you get a whole bunch and you're going to go to youtube and so this is where it asks for your username and we went through this like 20 times this morning trying to figure out how is it going to work so usually when they say add a username, all you need to do is use the at symbol and the username behind it and hit save and you're good. However, you click on this and watch, it's gonna prove us wrong. Yep, no, I'm so glad it didn't. Um, <laughs> you'll come up to this page here if you're just using the at symbol. So this threw us for a little bit of a loop of like, why isn't it working? So we tried multiple ways on how to fix this. And all you have to do is go back into, go back into your details, you're gonna edit this you're gonna hit a plus sign and an at symbol, and then you're gonna save it. Now, when you open up, you will go into your YouTube. So if you've ever come across this issue and you've been pulling your hair out, banging your head against the wall, like what username am I using? Just add a plus sign in front of the at symbol and that seems to fix it. So there you go, David, your awesome. YouTube channel is officially connected. Yeah, well, I have a question. I mean, you just yeah. added it to, now, will that become more available like on my personal profile and or my page, my uh, business page? I mean, I saw you added it, so I'm going to assume it's a good thing. I mean, you yep. just showed everybody in the group. Uh, <laughs> what, are, what are the benefits to me as far as what personal profile? I do have a wellness community and I also have a fan page. Mm -hmm. so, so does this make it more convenient for people to get to my YouTube channel? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So when someone comes to check you out and be like, who's this David Pyro guy? They can come down here and look at your information and be like, oh, David's got a YouTube channel. And they can click on it and go check out your YouTube channel. This is personal profile. I this is personal yeah. profile. Yes. I got to do a run through test on the business page, but for the personal profile, adding that little plus button. Okay. Fix the whole thing. So there so we go. So now they have access to my YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Yeah. Super. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. I appreciate that. I appreciate you letting me do that for you. Can we put Dr. Daggy's talk into our wellness community 
Yes, you can put Dr. Daggies, and I'll actually walk you through how to do that. And you can also take this link too and share it into your business page. You can share it into both of your communities. It all works. So I'm going to do this more focused on my discovery group. So the first thing you want to do is go to your dashboard, your YFP dashboard. And then underneath the wellness center tab on the left, you're going to come down to the discover tab. The reason I go to the discover tab is because the most recent piece of content is right at the top. So it's just really quick and easy to get to and you get the search bar. So when you hit on discover, it's going to look something like this. And here you can see the search bars there. So if there's something specific you're looking for that's not most recent, it's just easier to find. But then if you're looking for the most recent one, it's right there front and center. Okay, so whichever content you want to share, you're going to click on that piece of content. And then you have two choices. You can copy the link from up in the URL bar if you choose to, or you can use this share button and copy the link from here. I like to do copy the link rather than the share in the Facebook and that's just personal preference because I like the layout when I'm posting or when I'm creating the post more in Facebook platform rather than in the share in Facebook. Now the difference between copying the link from up here in the URL bar and the share link is do you want people to be able to watch this video without creating an account, just this one, that's all they get to watch, or do you want people to sign up to your wellness center, get put on your email list before they can watch this piece of content? So that's something to note. And how I differentiate what I'm gonna do is if it's on my business page and it's going out publicly, I want people to sign up first. So I'm gonna copy the link from up top. So then they have to create an account before they can watch this event. In my group, however, I'm not as worried about that because most of them are on my email list already and anyone who's not, well, I can get there with them as we go. So then I'm going to use the share button and I'm going to copy this link and this link here, because it has this little piece of code at the end, will allow anybody who clicks on it to watch or read whatever article it is. Just that one piece of content, if they want to explore further, then they have to create an account. So it's kind of like, here's a freebie to watch first. If you like what you see, go ahead and create an account. And I do that. I use that one in my private settings. So we're going to do this in my group. So I'm going to use the one where they can watch that piece. Okay. We'll copy the link and then going into your group. And then we're going to go into write something. And it's as simple as paste the link. And then you can say something about this. Now I put together a little blurb based on what I learned and what I appreciated out of that event. So I recommend you do the same if you were able to watch it. If you weren't, it's okay. Um, you can always just take the content right from here and paste that in as your text. Okay, so you come in here and you just paste it. And of course you can add a little bit extra if you'd like to personalize it, that type of thing, which I highly recommend you do, but you've got the basic outline of what they're gonna learn in that event. And that's it. And then you hit post and what it'll look like, close that, is down here, not that one, that's my face. Um, it'll look like this. And you'll notice that my link disappeared, which it will disappear. And now the image is your link. So don't panic if you don't see your link there anymore. Um, they just make this the link. And then when someone clicks on it, it's going to go straight into the wellness center and they can hit play and watch that piece. And then if they go anywhere else, it's going to say, hey, register for an account. So that's how we do it. I hope that helps. And I know I went through that quickly. Again, keep in mind that we are recording it. This will be instantly replayable in the YFP Facebook group. So if you need to go back there, then at least you can pause me as you're doing the steps. Okay, how does it work if you use, actually, I will show you that. How does it work if you use post in Facebook? Great question. Now, like I said, I just, this is personal preference for me as to why I don't use it. There's nothing wrong with it. It works just great, but I just don't like it as much. <laughs> so this is what it looks like if you use post in Facebook. So if you're posting using that button, you have to make sure you go up to the top here where it says share to newsfeed and story and switch that to posting on a business, on a page you manage or in a group, mm -hmm. whichever one you're picking. Okay. And then you're going to have to put the group in that you want. So there's the group. 
and then you can add in your text just like you would before. Now the post button is always awkward. It's really long, but sometimes it's really small. So it'll be at the very bottom, a very long skinny blue bar, and then you hit post to Facebook and it'll still do the same thing, offer the same benefit to the people who click on it and then encourage them to sign up if they are not members yet. See, Mary, I'm really glad you asked this question. So Mary asked, would you not push this on a post this on a personal page, only business page or groups, correct? How I do it is because I'm posting this and the intent is for business purposes, I'm always going to post it on my business page, but then I can share it from my business page to my personal page. But I don't want the organic post to come directly onto my personal profile. And again, that's just so that we comply with Facebook terms of service where they say, don't do business stuff on your personal page or we will kick it out. And trying to rebuild a personal profile and find all your friends again is not fun. <laughs> it's not a good time. So that's why we do it that way. You can't like, there's nothing stopping you if you really want to post it on your personal profile. Just know that if there's, if anyone reports it as you're doing business on your profile and Facebook finds you guilty, then you have to restart your profile. So I just do it for compliance reasons. So I hope that helps. So with that, I think that's it. We'll let you go for today. I hope you all have a wonderful week and I hope you get some sharing of that event out there. And don't forget to follow up with the people who registered so you can make sure they got the replay. It's a great way to just get that extra connection and be of service to them. So until next time, everyone, take care. And we'll see you later this week. Bye for now.